Hey, Broken Arrow, it is Tuesday. I hope your day is going really well. This week, we are looking at the Lord's Prayer phrase by phrase. The second phrase is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, we don't have kings or queens here in America, and even the countries that do have kings and queens usually don't give them much power anymore. So most of our knowledge of kingdoms is from history books. Jesus talked a lot about the kingdom of God. And some people think when they think about the kingdom of God, they think of it as something that will come into being at the end of time, after the return of Christ. But Jesus talked about the kingdom of God in a different way. In Luke 17, uh, verses 20 and 21, we read this. One day the Pharisees asked Jesus, when will the kingdom of God begin? Jesus replied, the kingdom of God isn't ushered in with visible signs. You won't be able to say it has begun here in this place or there in that part of the country. For the kingdom of God is within you. So, the kingdom of God is anywhere that Jesus reigns. That's why the two phrases in the Lord's Prayer go together. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Anywhere that God's will is done is an outpost of the kingdom of God. If you follow Jesus, you are a part of the kingdom of God. If you follow Christ, you are a subject of the king of kings, a subject of the kingdom of God. The Bible says that someday God's kingdom will come in all of its fullness, in all of its splendor. But in the meantime, everywhere that God's will is done is part of the kingdom of God. Have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow we'll look at the next phrase from the Lord's Prayer. And remember, God is good all the time.